Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how I did a V tip, a French tip, and a half tip only using gel polish. So just keep watching. I'm going to be using my handy dandy striping brush. And we're going to start with um, half tips. I think that's what they're called. Um, pretty much the striping brush does everything, does the work for you. I dip the brush into white gel polish. Make sure there's not too much on there, just a little bit. And I drag the brush across the nail, making a super straight line. And once I'm happy with how it looks, once it's super straight in my eyes and I'm content with it, I go ahead and I fill it in. Also stay tuned, stay tuned, <laughs> watch till the end of the video because I'm going to show you how I shape nails right before I package them because you'll see um, towards the end how bulky it is and how I make it look more like an acrylic nail. So that is the um, half tip nail. I'm going to go ahead and cure that in my lamp for one minute and move on to the next, which is going to be a V tip, my favorite. My oh, oh, I love doing V tips so much. It's pretty much the same process as half tips. You just do it on both sides and you connect them. So see how I did one line there and I'm going to go ahead and do another line until they cross. And once they cross, you're going to automatically see a point. See right there. See there's already like the V shape. And you can just keep dragging the brush as much as you want. If you want it like super low or if you want it kind of high like that. So I just map it until I like where the point is and I feel like it's just enough. And then I go ahead and fill that one in as well. that is the finish i'm gonna go ahead and cure that for one minute as well and now i'm doing a french tip so first i'm actually holding this tip towards me like the tip of the nail is facing me i just film on the side um so that's the first thing that helps and then you just make the v cut so you're basically doing a v cut again except for you don't connect them at the tip of the nail you just get them as close as possible without touching if that makes sense see how it's already kind of making the shape of a french tip and then i dipped my brush inside gel and now i'm doing just this little flick of the wrist i basically map out the smile line this does work for me um, and you'll see for the next like minute or so I'll play with the 
the smile line and try to first bring it down a little bit more and then try to make it as narrow as I can. I did let I didn't speed this part up because I wanted you guys to see just how long it does take just in case it is taking you a while to do French tips it also takes me a while because I want like the most perfect shape um yeah and again just like the last two once I'm pretty content with the shape of the smile line I go ahead and fill it in And I do drag the sides down because I do feel French tips on press nails, on press on nails look better with the sides long, I guess. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. So I'm pretty happy with the shape and now I'm just filling that in. I do like to fill it in with the striping brush as well. I know it does take a little longer, but whenever, if you guys watched my last video, you saw when I did it with the actual gel point. A polish brush I messed up the smile line so using this brush I almost never like hit anything and mess it up and if I do it's just a little tiny mark that I can just go back and fix so yeah that's just why I choose to use this brush to fill it in here's the finish I'm gonna go ahead and cure that as well Here's all three of them cured. I'm now going to show you guys how I shape the tip of the nail. You see how the tip of the nail is like really chunky and ugly and looks like a press on? Well, this is what I do to every one of my sets to make them look better. I use a 80 by 80 grit file and this um, lint free little, what's it called? Like a paper? I don't know. I'll put the, it's all on my Amazon list. So go ahead and look in the description for that. And... I just file. I file the tips of the nails. I use that lint-free pad so I don't leave like any marks, any fingerprints, any of the polish that I, that's on my glove. It doesn't get on the nail. file don't go too hard because then you'll shorten it you don't want to take the length away from it because this is supposed to be long and look how much prettier it looks it just looks so much better after filing the tip of it Tell me that doesn't look so much better. And last but not least, we're going to do the French tip, which also looks crazy at the tip of the nail. So we're just going to file that off. Again, I'm using an 80 by 80 grit file and these little lint free pads from Amazon. And 
there's the finish for the French tip. I'm gonna go ahead and just lay these out on a card so you can see them off of the press on nail stand and you can see them against paper. I don't know if I mentioned it, but for the base, I did use what I used in my last video, Raya 112. And that is how I do these designs. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys later this week.